so let's talk about some portfolio actions for September of 2022. Um, you know, many of you have, have seen parts of this from last month. Uh, from an equity standpoint, uh, there has been a move away from uh, mid and small cap, uh, bringing a lot of it down to, you know, in some portfolios down to zero. Uh, there's further lowering exposure to cyclical industries, the ones that, you know, again, fly, high flyers before. Um, fixed income again, looking at uh, increasing the investment grade. And really, uh, we, we've had a hot, lot of high yield, uh, but it's starting to take it on the chin a little bit, so there'll yeah. be a reduced uh, exposure there. And the, the other aspect is cash. Uh, we have, if you recall from the last uh, workshop and really any meetings we've had, uh, we increased the, the cash exposure to about 10% in all the five, uh, profile five and profile six portfolios about a month and a half ago. Uh, we're, we're again, not liking a lot of what we're seeing from the economic indicators. So we will be looking to increase the cash, pos cash position in accounts by another 15%. Uh, you know, we will be taking into consideration that each client is different. Clients have life insurance, cash value, that's kind of like cash right there, kind of, kind of it is, yeah. uh, and fixed income annuity. So we will be looking at each one of these to, to each client to determine how are we actually going to make this work for you. Uh, but you will see a major, major move to uh, cash positions, and one of the big reasons is we do feel there is still a downturn. And under normal bond conditions, we'd probably be moving over to bonds and stay fully invested. Right. But we know we're not in a normal bond situation. Cash seems to be the only alternative right now, or cash alternatives. Uh, so we will be looking at this over the next few days to move a lot more to cash. And what that does for us, knowing that, that we believe that the market's got another downturn coming, and it could very well be up to another 10%, it keeps our powder dry. So when we see the opportunity and we see the capitulation on the market and the indication is, hey, this thing's on the end of it, uh, the recession and the downward market, we are gonna go all back in again. And think about it, all we need to do is pick up three, four, five percent delta and we will see a significant uh, impact for the other side when the markets get back to even. Yep. Uh, so that's what we're looking at doing. If you have any questions on it, please give us a call and we will look at yours individually, but do expect that the cash position will be increased in the days to come. Yeah, we're using cash as a bond alternative right now. Really, because it's, it's the only safe haven. And, and Rocky, the reality is, is we had to do that in 2008 because in the midst of what was happening in 2008, the financial crisis, the bonds were having the same problem we were having right now. The only difference is they closed high. Yeah. They, they came back. Right. And that was because of all the influx of money and propping up the financial industry at that point. Right. And they reduced interest <laughs> rates to zero where we're in a rising interest rate environment. So bonds are, if rates are going up, bonds tend to go down. That's just the bottom line. So yeah. 